Hello, it's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I'm Pastor Christ Lutheran Church in Greenhurst, New York. We've been working through some scriptures and applying them to disciple making. Uh, not only are you called to make disciples, but you're called to be discipled. Uh, having people pour into you and you pouring into other people. The scripture I'd like to take you to uh, today is Luke 9:46. Uh, I'm going to read 46 through 48 here, and I'll be reading from the English Standard Version. It says there, an argument arose among them to which of them was the greatest. But Jesus, knowing the reasoning of their hearts, took a child and put him by his side and said to him, whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me, him who sent me, for he is least among you. All is the one who is one who is great for he who is least among you all is the one who is great see there's this priority i think it's interesting this section of scripture this argument that arose among the disciples about who was going to be the greatest it's interesting to me that the the thing that happens just before that is they find out they can't do something if you back up in Luke 9 and you go back to Luke 9, 37 through 43, you'll see that this incident about the, the argument about who's the greatest happens right on the heels of the child that was brought to them that they can't heal from a, a demon, demon possession. Matter of fact, verse 40 says, And I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. You know, if Jesus' disciples had some things that they couldn't do because they weren't ready yet, there are some things that we're going to be dealing with our disciples that they can't do because they're not ready yet. It's our job to continue to pour in. Um, there are some disciples that struggle with a specific sin in their lives. And just because they can't overcome it doesn't mean that they're not disciples of Jesus Christ. It's our job to walk alongside them, pour into them, and help them get to the point where they can resist those temptations. Don't give up on somebody because they're not there yet, because they can't do it yet. If you remember back in your spiritual journey, there were things that you couldn't do when you started. Does that mean that everybody alongside you gave up and stopped uh, working with you? No. We have to be faithful. What do we want to hear when we cross the threshold into heaven? Well done, my good and faithful servant. We have to be faithful to the process of discipleship, discipleship and disciple making. And we also have to be faithful in the process of being discipled. It's always better when you surround yourself with people that you can disciple and that you can be discipled by. We need somebody walking ahead of us, somebody helping us. And then we need to be teaching and walking with someone else. So for Discipleship Today, my name is Pastor Bob Benz. I want to take the time and just thank you for watching today.